Hi students, how are you? For this video we will learn about cost classification. Cost can be classified into six category. First, cost can be classified by element or nature. Second, cost can also be classified by its traceability or identifiability. Behavior is the next category of cost classification. Next, is function. Cost can be classified by controllability. Lastly, cost can be classified by normality. Remember, element or nature, traceability or identifiability, behavior, function, controllability and normality. Easy, right? Element or nature classification can be divided into three. First, is material. Second, is labor. And third, is production or manufacturing overhead. What is materials? Material can be defined as cost of ingredients or elements or basic parts in making a product. Cost spent on person who is responsible in changing or transforming the material into product or finished goods is definition for labor. Lastly, manufacturing overhead can be defined as cost indirectly incurred in the process of changing the materials into a product. In summary, Remember, material, labor and production overhead, all fall into nature or element class. Identifiability or traceability can be divided into two category, which are direct cost and indirect cost. Direct cost can be defined as costs that can be directly identified to the cost units, while indirect cost is costs that are incurred in the process of production, but cannot be directly identified to the units produced. Direct cost further divided into three, which is direct material, direct labor and direct expenses. These three are called prime cost. Indirect cost can also be divided into three, which is indirect material, indirect labor and indirect expenses. These three are called overhead cost. Please note, prime cost and overhead are required to produce a product. Direct labor plus manufacturing overhead equals conversion cost, which defined as cost needed to convert raw materials into finished goods. Now we head to cost behavior. Cost behavior can be divided into four group. Fixed cost defined as cost that remains constant regardless the level of output, example is rental, advertising and depreciation. Cost changes as the level output change is called variable cost. For example, material or ingredient to produce product are example of variable cost. Next, is mixed cost or semi-variable. As the name suggests, mixed cost is combination between variable and fixed cost. Electricity and telephone bill are the example of mixed cost. Step cost which defined as cost that unchanged at certain output level but increased to next level is last group of cost behavior. Salary of production supervisor for example is in this category. To summarize, four group, fixed cost, variable cost, mixed cost and step cost are falls into cost behavior. Students should take note how each cost behavior's activity correlates against total cost, which are plotted as graph. Okay, next is cost function which can be divided into six category. Production is a cost incurred from the time of acquisition of material until the dispatch of completed items to store. For example, depreciation of machinery or material and labor. Administration is a costs incurred in the general administration including directing and controlling the operations of an organization. For example, account clerk salary or stationery and printing. Marketing such as commission to salesmen, advertisement of product, or transportation cost can be defined as costs incurred in selling, publicizing, distributing and product servicing. Next, finance is a costs incurred in financing the activity of the business. For example, interest on loan. Next, research and development is defined as costs incurred in developing, seeking new or improved ideas, materials, methods and products. For example, market survey. Human resources is a cost incurred related to employees or staff of an organization. For example, 
training costs or advertisement for new staff. Controllability classification is our next stop, and divided into controllable and uncontrollable. Controllable, can be defined as cost that can be managed by management in the department, commonly such as variable cost. Controllable also can be defined as costs that are influenced by the decisions or actions of a manager. For example, shutdown costs such as retrenchment salaries. Opposite of controllable is uncontrollable cost, which defined as cost that cannot be managed by the management in the department. For example, fixed cost or cost determined by the top management. Furthermore, uncontrollable also defined as costs that are not influenced by the decision or action of a manager. For example, increased cost of raw material due to inflation. Lastly, is normality. Normal or expected is cost expected to be incurred in the process of making a product. For example, scrap cost. Opposite to normal is abnormal or unexpected, which is not expected to be incurred. For example, natural disaster, fire, blackout. Okay, let's go back a bit, and recap. Cost can be divided into six, which are, element or nature, traceability or identifiability, behavior, function, controllability and normality. Element or nature, divided into three, which are material, labor and production overhead. Traceability divided by two, direct and indirect cost. Direct cost are described as prime cost while indirect cost describe as overhead. Cost behavior falls into four category, which are fixed, variable, mixed and step cost. Eight category in cost function, production, administration, marketing, finance, R&D, human resource, product and period cost. Controllable and uncontrollable are in controllability classification. Normality divided into two, expected and unexpected. As we learned cost classification, one such as Matt Chikanis might ask, why we need these classification? To explain, different costs are used for different purposes such as following, direct or indirect cost is used when assigning costs to cost object. By behavior, to look at how costs and revenues vary with different levels of activities and essential for decision making. For example, will it be wiser to pay the supervisor's fixed salary or according to volume produced by his or her team or combination of both? Relevant or irrelevant cost, for management to decide whether or not to accept customers' orders. Opportunity cost, to help management decide in choosing among alternatives course of action. To wrap up, Cost can be divided into different classes and have different purposes respective to their classification. Thank you for your time, and please see my next video. Topic 4, Activity-Based Costing. Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel.